guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be an update of my Project Pan Roulette collaboration with some of the girls from Beauty Blabs and Collabs. I will of course link all their videos down below. I am actually behind. This was supposed to go up already, but um, I have to excuse the dog barking in the background. She is... I can't talk without her barking. Anyway, anyway um, I haven't had the best march, so... Uh, there's not a lot of progress. There's a little, there's a little, but there's not a lot of progress. So first of all, I'll just go through the things that I'd already classed as finished or I had already met my goals on. Um, and then we'll get on to the other stuff. Uh, one of the first things I finished was the exfoliator that was in this container here, which was the uh, Suki exfoliator. That was finished off fairly quickly. I have put something else in there, really. Um, the e.l.f. lip exfoliator. This is the original one that is uh, pretty rough. I want to try out the uh, peppermint one. Um, the product that I would always buy, which is my cuticle oil. The oops, Nivea face cream. Um, this is the nighttime one. The bon, Bonds. Bonds. BB Plus Age Miracle. I actually really, really like this stuff. I wish I could get some more of it. The Urban Skin Care Co. Body Balm. Their infused body balm. And an item that I de stashed, which was this primer, because it wasn't very good. And then last time round. Even though they weren't 100% finished, I had put in something new for the Astralis face spray, which I have now completely finished. So that one is actually done now. And the BYS micro finishing powder, um, I have since put another powder in here that was in a very awkward kind of container. So that is all the things that I have had used up up until this update. So, on to the things that I finished this time. Um, I finally hit pan in my highlighter. I actually remembered to post a picture of this on Instagram. Um, you can see the pan, the pan ring right there. So I've taken that one out because I hit my goal. Um, and I'm going to pull another product for this one because this has now got to the point where I have to unscrew the top of it. This is the 11 hair treatment. I have to um, tip it upside down and bash it out to actually get anything in there. Like I can see the bottom clearly. There's, there's very, very little in here. So this will be gone probably within the next two weeks, let alone a month. So I'm going to pull something new for that one. Um, so that is two that I will be collecting new ones for. And then I counted through and I realised I'm actually an item down. I'm supposed to have 15, but I've only got, f like, I'll only have 12 before I pull two more, which would make 14. So I'll actually be drawing three new ones. But to get into the other things that I have in the project, um, the bronzer, which was like the first thing that was picked, the Avon Arabian Glow Pearls things. I've used them. I use them every time I do makeup. <laughs> Clearly not today. Um, I guess I'm making progress on it. It's just really hard to tell because of the type of product that it actually is. Uh, the blush to hit pan, the oldest blush, was the Maybelline Wild Blossom. It probably doesn't look any different. I've actually been using a different blusher. I haven't really been reaching for this one. Um, I have blushes in other projects. Um, the Rimmel Scandalize bright blue pencil thing that is literally bright blue. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but not very much, like literally just like on my waterline. So there will be no apparent change in that on my lines. I haven't sharpened it or anything like that. The sparkly product was this cargo lip gloss, which 
Um, it's really actually hard to tell because it doesn't want to slide down completely. But when I put it back in, I'm actually wearing a bit of it today. Um, it was kind of like down here, but I think it's probably more up here. Um, I haven't actually marked it. I've just got it sitting there hoping it will decide how much it's got in it. Um, the product from Trop Me Say, which was the Clean Colour Lipstick in Sealed Secret, I'm pretty sure I haven't used this. <laughs> in fact, I'm fairly certain I haven't used this. Um, yeah, it doesn't look any different on my thing, and I don't remember wearing this colour over the last month. Not that I've worn makeup a lot, but there you go. Um, the other highlighter that got put into the project is this one from La Roc. Um, I haven't actually been working on this. Again, I've been using a different highlighter that's in a different project. Um, product you always love when you use it is the shadow from this um, LA Colors. Um, as you can see, I have hit a fairly substantial amount of pan. Um, when I hit pan, it just like started going like quite quickly. Um, but I wanted to use this up, which is why it's still in. Um, I quite enjoy using it. It's. Uh, I've actually been reaching for this palette quite a bit. It's, it's quite nice. Um, the eye cream is this Natural Instinct Dark Circle and Wrinkle Correction Cream. It looks like this. It's got these marks on the front. I wouldn't go by those ones. I go by the ones I put on the back. Um, that's basically where I am now. This is actually a really interesting container because it uh, doesn't allow you to pull put out very much, only like a little tiny blob on your finger, so you really can't overuse it. It's quite hard to overuse it. Um, the product that I would only buy on sale is the Seshvit. Um This one's mark is not any lower. Um, which means I haven't refilled my container. I haven't really, I barely did my nails last month. So, um, the expensive product was the Anika face primer. Um, obviously I can't tell how much I have because it's a black container, but I have used this several times. The Rimmel, um, lipstick, Kate Rimmel lipstick in 45. Um, I have worn this a couple of times, but it, hasn't actually really moved any. It's not my favourite colour. And the last product was one that I put in last time as well, which is the La Cura Deep Cleansing Seaweed Facial Scrub. I've used this three or four times because um, I'm using another one as well, so I'm kind of interchanging them. Um, this is, it kind of looks a little weird. It's cut um, like a gel with bits in it. So, but um, it seems quite nice and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I can't actually see through the container, so I can't tell you how much it's actually in there. So that is everything that is in the project so far and where I'm at. So I am going to draw out three things to add into the project from my little box thing. I have all of our little bits of paper. Hopefully it will be nice to me. Shadow hit pan. Well, um, I kind of already have hit pan in my current favorite eyeshadow. So, um, because I really just, I'm just going to draw a different one. <laughs> I don't often have very many favorite eyeshadows anyway. All right, let's try this. An eye primer. Okay. We can do that. An eye primer, um, a colourful eye product, okay. and 
Your favorite product from a category of your choice. That's like really, really wide open. I will go and find some things and then I will be back. Okay, so I am back with my chosen items. The first one is the eye primer. This is the eye primer I'm currently using, which is not in any project or anything. This is the eye primer from Designer Brands. Not my favorite. It's just a clear gel and a doe foot applicator. I've been using it for a while. I have no idea how much I have. I can't see through the packaging. So, And everyone knows eye primers take forever. The colourful eye product is this one from Torina Tarantino. Um, this is the perfect, uh, sorry, purple velvet magic hour smudge pen. Like it has like this big size, but really the only bit of um, that's of any use is down. Oops, I keep on pulling out the wrong bit. My hands are a little slippery. So basically what you have is you have like a sponge tip applicator and all the product is just this little bit there in the lid. That's. And that is what it looks like. If it would focus, there we go. So it's a fairly brightish purple colour. I have no idea how much is actually in one of these. 0 0.5 grams. So not a huge amount. Um, no idea how long it will take to use up. And the extra one, because I figured I didn't have enough products, um, is I am putting in this one, which I was in another project. Um, this is a favourite product from a category of choice. This is the Grace Cole Pineapple and Passion Fruit Hand Lotion. Um, I have nearly finished the hand cream that I have in another project, so I figured I will put this one back in. It's about half full, so we're starting here. Um, yeah, and I love this, I love this hand cream, it's great. So, that is my update for this project pan roulette year long collaboration. As I said at the start, I will link the other girls down below. Uh, if you want to subscribe and see more of my stuff, then click the little bell down there, and click the button down there, and then click the bell so you get notified. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!